do. Either way, I am so glad you're here. It is Monday and we are kicking off this weekend. This weekend, oh my God. <laughs> we are kicking off this week with some good intentions. I am determined this week to kind of get back on a routine. Uh, I want to be better about just like prepping my meals, eating them at home. I want to get back on a consistent workout schedule. We just need to do like everything. And I didn't start this weekend. Why do I keep saying the weekend? It is the week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're not off to a great start, guys. I did not start the week off the most prepared. Usually Sunday I use to get my life together and reset and everything that didn't happen yesterday. Um, I just spent a lot of time out with my parents and Coincidentally, I, I didn't like really get my apartment together or do any meal prepping, but that's okay because today I like don't have anything going on after work and I'm up super early today so we can kind of do it then. I'm up super early because I dropped Poppy off at the vet today. She has to get groomed and she's due for a few shots. And if you own a dog, you know like the look of betrayal they give you when you pull into the vet parking lot and it always breaks my heart. Like I hate the way Poppy looks at me when we're at the vet. Like I am just betraying everything and I'm the worst mom ever. But I try and console myself because everyone at our vet loves Poppy. Like literally anytime I walk into the vet with her, everyone's like, oh my gosh, Poppy. And everyone's like excited to take her back. So I know she's okay. She's just a little dramatic, but it still, it broke my heart. <laughs> but I'm up early because she had an early drop off. So I used some of this morning just to like tidy up around the kitchen and put a couple things away. Um, I like got my living room together and now I gotta put some stuff on the kitchen counter away. But before I do, I went to Home Goods yesterday while I was out by my parents. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. The first thing I got are this, the set of four wine glasses. And let me take one out of the box. Um, but I actually, I have six wine glasses, but they're all stemless. And I have been waiting for a set of four to go on sale on Amazon that are exactly this shape. And they haven't gone on sale yet. So when I saw them at Home Goods yesterday, I was like, oh, I have to get them. But they're like this shape glass. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like rounded but flat on the bottom. Um, I think they're so cute. So I'm going to have to wash those today. I got those and I'm, I got these cute little fall dish towels and don't worry, I haven't lost my marbles. I just like, I was there and I saw the fall stuff. I won't put up fall stuff until like at least after Labor Day, if not a little later. Um, but I just thought these were cute. And then I also got these like Halloween oven mitts cause I thought they were cute, but they will not be displayed until closer to fall. Do not worry. I know some people get like very touchy about like, getting ready for fall too early. And I'm like, you do you. But like for me living in Memphis, if it's still almost a hundred degrees outside, I like cannot get into the fall spirit yet. So I will probably decorate maybe like the week after I get back from my trip um, in September. Anyways, yeah, I just need to like get the kitchen clutter off so I can like start work with peace of mind. Uh, I also have like probably two loads of laundry I wish I had done yesterday, but I'm gonna do those today and tonight. Um, I'm gonna meal prep a little. I had brought stuff yesterday to make breakfast burritos for the week, or yeah, for the week, and I just didn't get around to it yesterday, obviously, so I'll probably do those tonight. But that's okay, because my mom has some muffins at her house, so I have breakfast today covered anyways. She gave me two muffins to take home, so it's okay that I won't do my breakfast meal prep until tonight. And yeah, that is about it for right now. I hope when you're watching this, your week is off to a good start. And if not, let's just like reset together and get back into things. While I am thinking about it, I wanted to give you guys an update on my Pura diffuser. Um, I remember complaining that there's no like preset like timers or anything. There is, I just didn't see them when I was first looking at it. Um, I really like it. And I've noticed like the scent is really holding. So I have it on an intensity five and I have the volcano scent going Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. I think. And then on the weekend, so like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have the linen scent going 
six to ten and like it's definitely gonna last me through the month like i'm not worried about it going out early at all so i'm like really pleased with it i've cooked a couple of times in the kitchen since i started it uh started using it and you guys know that was like the main reason i got it was because when i cook like the scent just fills my apartment and you can still smell it a little bit but like if it gets too much for me i'll just up the intensity on the pura for like an hour and it's like gone like i feel like my apartment smells so much better now um i honestly think this was the best thing i could have bought for my apartment oh my god you guys it's so hot <laughs> i'm sweating um i just got a call from poppy's vet that she is done with her shots and her grooming so i'm going to pick her up but i stopped at my leasing office on the way out because i had a package and i'm so excited to show you guys it is a phone case that i designed and i mean i didn't like do all of the drawings i just like made it on canva and then i found a printer that printed MagSafe phone cases and this is it isn't it so cute I like did all of my favorite drinks so I did an Aperol spritz a tequila bottle and I put um we all know and love that symbol um and then espresso martini and a bottle of white wine because I'm a white wine girly now um yeah I think it's so cute I'm really excited look who's back oh her vet like always either puts like a little scarf or like a little bow on her like this when they groom her. Oh, I think she looks so good. Do you feel good? Aww. All right, the work day is over. I finished up about like an hour ago and made a quick dinner. And now I am going to go for a run. I haven't ran in like five days, so I feel like this is gonna be a little difficult, but we're gonna do it and it's gonna feel nice to get a little sweat and movement in after today. I'm back from my run. I'm very, very sweaty. I'm going to make a liquid IV. Um, today's run, it was really good. Um, I felt really good. I feel like I wasn't um, like in my head about anything. I felt like I ran at a good pace and at a good distance. Um, it was just, it was a really good run. I actually, over the weekend, just like restructured my training plan for the half marathon. Not like drastically different, but I just like really like the look of this training plan better than what I was following. Cause I had a really hard time sticking to my old plan just because I, I just didn't like it. <laughs> um, so I have a new one and I'm really excited about it. And I think that's what made today's run enjoyable too. Also, my apartment is just like gorgeous right now i just love golden hour in my apartment especially i like face the river uh so i get to see like memphis has some really beautiful sunsets and i get to see a lot of them from my apartment which is really nice but yeah i am beat uh so i don't think i'm gonna be doing that breakfast meal prep i told you guys about tonight uh I'll probably do it tomorrow at some point, but like there's no rush. I mean, like none of what I have like needs to be cooked today or anything, like it's not super perishable. So um, I'm just gonna like take a shower and chill out for the night. Um, and I'm probably gonna try and go to bed early because I have a goal to climb tomorrow morning. We'll see if that actually happens, but I want to try. I just feel like my climbing sessions are better when I go in the morning, because one, no one is there. I don't have to worry about like sharing the wall with anybody. Um, sometimes I get a little nervous climbing around other people. But two, I feel like because I go before work, I have like a strict time limit. Like I've got like an hour or an hour and a half. And like, I want to make the most of it. Whereas like when I go climbing after work or at night, like there's no time limit. So I kind of just like, dilly dally around and like I, I'm not as productive um but yeah we're gonna try and go tomorrow we'll see if that happens we'll see how I feel when I wake up but I am going to go hop in the shower and put on some jammies and just like get snuggly for the rest of the night I didn't think we would make it this morning, but we're here. We made it to the gym. I'm really sleepy, but I'm going to try and have a good climbing session. So comfortable. 
No one seems to hold me like you do mm -hmm. You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you Alright, back home from the gym and I showered I'm just making some greens now I'm drinking the Better Days Co. Better Greens in the raspberry limeade flavor Honestly, I think I have like I have like about an hour before I need to log on. So I think I'm gonna make these greens and finish the rest of my Anna bar and maybe just like watch some YouTube or something before I start work. I always forget how nice it is when you wake up early. I feel like we all do. Like if we wake up early, we're glad we did it. But it, if we wake up early, <laughs> we're glad we did it but it's just like really hard to like get out of bed. I feel like once I'm out of bed, I'm fine, but it's like the act of getting out of bed early is what stops me. <sighs> oh y'all, it has been a long day. It's almost one o'clock now. I had to like quickly put together a lunch because I had some meetings back to back, but I've got about like a 30-ish, 30, 30, 45 minute break and I think it's time to make a coffee. <laughs> guys I just feel like today and this week have been the longest week ever and it's only Tuesday <laughs> somebody's car alarm is going off outside I'm sorry if you guys can hear that also I am trying to decide if I am a trucker hat girly or not I mean I really like this hat I think it's cute but I'm trying to figure out if it looks good on me I have like a really big head and like a really round face so like some ball caps fit me but some don't and I've learned recently apparently like trucker hats are made for people with bigger heads like they're just usually have like a wider base so I've been trying to like lean into it I bought this one and I also got one in Seattle uh, when we were there a couple weeks ago and I'm still like I don't hate it but I'm just, I don't know if I'm just like getting used to it. It just looks a little, I don't know. I just, I'm not used to it. <laughs> and we're in the Uber. We're going to taxi now. Good morning, guys. I'm up early again because I have a dentist appointment today. And I don't know why I always do my... I don't know why I always do this to myself, but I always think making a dentist appointment as early as possible is like a great idea. So I have to be at the dentist at 7.30. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm getting two fillings redone because when I went a couple weeks ago, they said like one was loose and one was like chipped or something. So they're redoing them and because they're on different sides of my mouth, like one is over here and one is over here, uh, they have to numb both sides of my mouth. So I'm going to have trouble talking for a little bit today. So this is probably the last time you're going to see me until later. It's like 6.15 right now. They said that I would go away like within a couple of hours. So hopefully by the time I'm like hungry to eat lunch, I'll get to talk to you guys again. Okay, it is about almost three hours after my appointment and I still can't really feel the bottom half of my face. And I can't feel like my tongue or my lips or anything. So I'm talking kind of funny. <laughs> And, um, I can't eat because I can't, like, feel my tongue, so I can't swallow. <laughs> um, I went back to bed for a little bit after I got home, um, and I told my team what was going on. Um, but I have two meetings this afternoon that I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk in because <laughs> I sound so 
Oh, you can tell something's wrong. <laughs> it's much later since I last talked to you guys. It's almost two o'clock now, and I think you can tell I'm definitely talking a little more normal. Um, my swelling has gone down a little bit. I'm still like a little achy, and it's hard to like open my mouth very wide. I was able to eat some mac and cheese earlier, but it was really hard. <laughs> like I can't really open my mouth past like that because I think like where they numbed me and like just having my mouth open that long like I'm just a little sore but we're doing much better I've just been working from the couch today uh, I am just gonna try and get heads down for the rest of the day and re respond to some stuff and hopefully by the time we're done I like feel a little more normal and can eat like a proper meal yeah, who is shocked I left my apartment <laughs> Uh, the only reason I left my apartment is because I've determined, like, the only thing I can eat right now is soup because I'm still a little sore. I don't have any soup, so I'm at my grocery store. I'm going to pick some up and probably get some ice cream while I'm at it because those are the only two things that sound tolerable right now. <laughs> Back from my quick trip to the grocery store and got more than I intended. Who's shocked? Uh, first thing I got, I got this big thing of French bread. I got this big thing of a French baguette because I just wanted some bread to like dip my soup in. I definitely have like not eaten enough today at all, so I'm gonna like that soup wasn't gonna be enough for me for dinner. So I'm gonna try and like dip some bread in it, so it'll be like mushy and I can eat it. Bring that. Um, I got this Panera baked potato soup. I went in hoping for the broccoli and cheddar one, but they didn't have it. And so this one sounded good. And then I got some cookies and cream. And then I got a variety of beverages. I got some Celsius because I was low. I got an Olipop root beer. I got an orange poppy. And then I got a cherry limeade poppy. And I'm going to put one of these and my cute new wine glasses and have a cute little dinner tonight because I just want to. <laughs> it is later, I ate dinner and I'm feeling a lot better. So I think I am still gonna try and go on a run tonight, but my hair is in desperate need of a wash. So I'm gonna put a hair mask in. Um, I've talked about it before, but I usually try and do a hair mask before, like anytime I'm gonna get sweaty, really before any time I'm definitely gonna wash my hair. So that's usually two or three times a week, especially now that I have color in my hair. I definitely wanna prioritize hair masks because I know color can really dry out your hair. And with my naturally curly hair, my hair is already like fighting for moisture. I'm gonna get my whole entire head wet and then I'll come back. Hair is wet and I will usually like put it in two sections just to make sure all of my hair gets a part of the mask. And what I've been using lately for my mask is two Shea Moisture products. I use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is made to be like a leave-in after you shower but I find it makes a really good mask and then I go over with the Shea Moisture Argan Oil too. So I'm just gonna squeeze a bit. I do about like that much per section. Spread it out and just comb it through. Okay, mask and oil all in my hair. Now I'm just gonna kind of comb it back into a low bun. And then we will go run. I went on a run. Um, was it the best run I had? No, but it wasn't the worst run either. I mean, I sat on my butt all day and I didn't eat a lot today because my mouth hurt. So I'm obviously like, I wasn't fueled properly for the run, but I still think it was a good run. And I'm even more proud, like we're three for three this week so far with staying on a consistent workout schedule. So let's go for four for four tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. I am feeling much better after sleeping. I'm still definitely eating just softer foods because 
this side is more sensitive than this side. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, but if I'm still feeling some discomfort, I'm gonna call my dentist tomorrow because I've had fillings before. I've never had one on both sides like at the same time, but I just feel like this isn't normal to still be this sensitive. I don't know, maybe it is. Anyway, it's now Thursday. Um, I just had a slow morning and I'm about to log on for work. I think today is a walking pad day, so I'm gonna try and get some steps in this morning. I knew I wasn't gonna get up and go to the gym today uh, to climb, so maybe I'll climb today after work, we'll see. Since it's Thursday, I'm definitely gonna be heads down today. There's a couple things I need to close out for the week and I'm a little behind because I was not productive yesterday. But yeah, we're just gonna like focus in, get some steps in and knock out some work. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, um, this isn't like a therapy update, but I've still been working with my therapist on my wasp phobia. And today I was taking Poppy on a walk and a wasp like flew by us and like buzzed in my ear. And like past Peyton would have like freaked out and ran away and like cried. I'm not exaggerating, but today I was able just to kind of like, I mean, I was still scared. Like I still felt that feeling in my stomach, but I was able to kind of like get on with it like I didn't freak out I didn't like shake my head and run away I just kind of like kept walking and I did my little exercises that my therapist gave me and I was okay so I'm not healed by any means but that is like huge okay and if you're scared of wasp or bees like you know what I mean it is almost one o'clock and I am breaking for lunch. I still can't eat super hard foods, but I have some leftover mac and cheese from what I cooked yesterday. So I think I'm just gonna have some mac and cheese and some of that <laughs> French bread I bought. I could not tell you why, but something about eating this bowl of mac and cheese and a piece of bread is like reminding me of fall. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just going crazy because I want it to be fall so badly. Like I am sick of this summer. I am sick of this Memphis heat. Like I can't wait for it to be like crisp and cool and I can wear my sweatsuits and my sweatshirts and everything without like sweating. I'm just, I can't wait for it to be fall. I am sick, so sick of summer. Guys, I'm so excited. Um, the NBA schedule was announced today and I got tickets for me and Abby for opening night of the Grizzlies. If you didn't know, I'm a huge Memphis Grizzlies fan, so I'm excited. And it just means like we're that much closer to fall and basketball season. And that was just like a great little pick me up for the day. Um, it's about four o'clock. I have one more meeting and then I'm done for the day. So I'm just gonna try and carry on and get through that meeting. I made it through another work day. It is officially Friday Eve. And one thing that has been on my mind all day is I want to clean out my fridge. Um, I don't know why, it just makes me feel better going into the weekend, like knowing what's in my fridge and what's not. And um, I just have like leftovers and stuff in the fridge or like things from this last weekend that are definitely not good anymore. So I just like want to clean those out and take out the trash and like start the weekend off like clean and put together. Walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room, it's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Thursday night, so you know what I'm doing. I'm sitting in my self-tan clothes and I'm letting myself tan develop while I watch an episode of The Summer I Turned Pretty. I'm really sad. I'm pretty sure this is episode eight, which is the last episode. And if you watch, I think it was two vlogs ago, I talked about how I feel like not a lot has happened this season. And if you read the books, you will probably agree with me. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm also sad because I had this cute little Thursday routine of sitting in self-tan and watching the episode and now that's over. Happy Friday. We have made it through the week. We are this close for the weekend. Um, this Friday is a little busier for me than it usually is. I've got about four meetings and one of them is from three to five o'clock, which I don't think anyone in that meeting wants to be in that meeting, but this is the reality of sometimes working across different time zones and 
sometimes you just gotta work with what you got um and that is the reality of this friday but it's okay i don't have like a ton of plans after work anyways i wanted to go on a long run and i can do that at any point um so yeah it's fine i don't have a ton of plans for the weekend honestly i was kind of looking forward just to having like a low-key weekend like I don't really want to spend any money I don't really want to go out I'm trying to save money since Henry and I are going on our trip in two weeks I'd rather save money for that um but I don't know we'll see maybe we'll get together with some friends or something I don't really know but regardless I'm excited for the weekend so let's get this Friday started um checking back in it's like 11 now 11 ish and I spent the first part of my morning um, on the walking pad. I walked like, I think like three miles maybe. It felt really nice. And I was just responding to some emails and stuff. And now I'm taking a break and working on the couch. I have one meeting at noon and it's like an informal meeting with my, like the program manager I work with. Um, and it, we're always like very casual like we we get along really well um and it's always like very informal so I'm probably gonna walk during that meeting so I'm just gonna sit down right now I like am not one of those people that can walk all day I know some people have walking pad and it's like we'll literally walk on it for three or four hours like that doesn't work for me um I, I like break it up into chunks throughout the day and then when I'm not on a walking pad I'll like sit on the couch or something and do my work so that's what I'm doing now got about an hour before that meeting so just gonna like send out some more stuff and do a little bit of prep for this meeting because there's something we have to talk about and then I'll hop back on the walking pad and join my meeting. It is 4 30 and we have officially logged off for the day also I look so tan I feel like this is the best tanning I've ever done um I'm still using that Saint Tropez not Saint Tropez Bondi Sands one hour express and the tan Lux face drops I got some shorts on Amazon earlier this week because I had a gift card and honestly I had super low expectations of them but I'm going to show you guys. Okay, these are them and I'm like obsessed. They're like super structured sweatpants shorts um, and I think they're just adorable. They're the brand CRZ Yoga. I got them off of Amazon. I'll link them down below but I love them. And they're not like see-through at all. Like I know the pockets look a little darker, but like I'm wearing bright underwear under here and like you can't really see it. I am getting ready for my run and I wanted to share with you guys. Sometimes like I know I need to eat before I run, but I'm not like ready for anything heavy. Um, so I've been trying to find like little bars and stuff that like sit well on my stomach. And this is my second time eating one of these, but these honey stinger stroop waffles, um, they taste really good and they're really light and um, I really like them. Um, they're a good pre-run snack. So I just ate one of these and drank some Celsius. I'm gonna stretch and go on my long run. All right, I am back from my run. I just got out of the shower. My face is still red like a tomato um but i had a really good run i'm so glad i did that that was like the best way to start the weekend um and now it's like 6 30 maybe it's almost 7. i am going to heat up some leftovers i made some dumplings from trader joe's yet uh yesterday and i made some rice with it so i'm just gonna have the other half of that that i've got in the fridge I think Henry might come over and we're going to watch one of the Mission Impossible movies. I've seen um, the first four and Henry's already gone to the movie theaters to see like the newest one, but like he's a huge Mission Impossible fan. So he wants to go again. And so I said I would try and watch five and six so I can go see the new one with him. Uh, so I think he's going to, so I think he's going to come over and we're going to watch the fifth one tonight and just have like a little night in maybe make some popcorn i might make some espresso martinis i had friends over last weekend and i made them espresso martinis and they both like don't really like espresso martinis because they don't like kalua and they loved mine because i don't make mine with kalua because i'm not the biggest fan of kalua either but i make them one part tequila which 
Some people might like cancel me for, but I would prefer tequila over vodka any day. Um, so I do one part tequila, one part chilled espresso. I just get like the bottle of Starbucks espresso from Target. And then I do one part Bailey's and then I taste it. And sometimes it just needs like a little more Bailey's cream, but um, I might make some of those tonight because that just sounds really good. So that's all I have planned for tonight. I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here and I'm probably gonna start a new one tomorrow and do a weekend vlog, but thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. That would mean so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.